Hello all you fine folks out there in YouTube land. It is product review time. Um, we're going to start in order of oldest to newest. Uh, we will start off with, given the festive time of the year, Christmas items. We've got two Christmas box cars here to uh, do some quick product reviews on. First of which being the 1988 Lionel Merry Christmas box car. So, car is uh, plastic construction. The trucks and couplers are plastic. They are the magnetic style couplers. They're actually the, the old school style as you can tell there with the thumbtack. But they do open manually by means of the uncoupling tab right there. The paint and lettering on this car is very nicely done. Little holiday decorations and all that fun stuff. Uh, the box car doors open and close. And I especially love the little uh, Christmas tree with the train around the bottom of it. And there you can see the build date built by Lionel January of 1988. Uh, given the fact that this is an old MPC era car um, and it's more of the traditional toy train size car all the details except for the handbrake wheel are cast on there aren't really any separately applied details the door latch here uh, the hand the, the ladders the end and side ladders the waybill board uh, the catwalk up top it's all cast on but older style car less advanced technology back then and this is not a scale offering for the I guess more serious rivet counter style hobnobs alright my wife is very happy with this one so we'll move on to the next item alright the next item up for review is the Lionel 2019 Merry Christmas box car. Merry Christmas to all, it says. Well, let's check it out, open it up, see what it's all about. All right. So first and foremost, while that other car, and I neglected to say, had a plastic frame, this one has a stamped metal frame. The trucks are die cast sprung trucks so they are a frictionless bearing style as are the trucks on that 1988 car uh, the coupler is die cast metal it is magnetic uh, the newer style you know not so much the highly noticeable thumbtack but it works the same way uh, with an un with a magnetic uncoupling section of track you can automatically uncouple it or by means of the little uncoupling tab right there you can manually uncouple it. I will say this particular car has a, a rather smooth coupler it doesn't have any a whole lot of resistance to it so it couples up nicely. The um, body is a, an ABS type plastic construction uh, the only separately applied detail is the handbrake wheel. Uh, all the end ladders and the catwalks and door latches and everything are cast on, but this is not a scale car. This is a toy train style item, and it is a, the traditional style toy train. And when I say that, then roughly that means 10 inch box car, 027 gauge. Um, the lettering and the graphics on this car are nice and crisp and clear. I've noticed no bleed through of any type or uh, fogginess, I guess you could say. And the doors on the car open and close. And again, this is not for me. This is an addition to my wife's collection of Christmas trains. Nothing against Christmas trains, I just prefer the 
not necessarily more scale, although I am getting into the more scale stuff. I just prefer the more realistic stuff that actually ran. But these are fun, and it is nice to have uh, my spouse involved in the hobby with me. Okay, now we are into the more scale uh, items. I don't know how well you can see it, but this is a Lionel Southern Pacific double sheath box car. Um, this was offered by Lionel in the 2013 catalog. The prototype was a, a double sheath box car, a wood construction type box car. Um, this is a scale car, uh, so it is a little bit longer than the traditional style toy train box car. Uh, whereas a traditional 027 gauge box car is roughly 10 inches, this is actually closer to uh, about a foot, 11 and a half inches a foot long. Uh, this will not run on 027 gauge. This does require a minimum radius of 031. And we will remove the plastic cellophane wrapping so that we can see the car just a little bit better. This car is, as I said, a scale item, so it is loaded with uh, separately applied details that can be rather fragile, even in uh, O-gauge. So first of all, we'll start off with the frame, below the frame. You can see some nice detailing on the brake rigging, apparatuses, air tanks, cylinders, control valve. It's all, for the most part, there. Uh, the trucks are die cast metal, they are frictionless bearings and they are uh, sprung as well. The couplers are also die cast metal and right here is the whereas on the 027 style cars you have the thumbtack, well this is an actual like uncoupling plate. You position this over the uh, uncoupling, the magnetic uncoupling track section and it pulls down on this plate and that is what causes the coupler to open. There is a small much less noticeable tab and I'm trying to get to it where you can see it. Right there you push in on that and that's how you can manually uncouple the car. Couplers on this car are very smooth and it should couple up easily. I keep saying that because I've, you know, some cars, if you're new to the hobby, sometimes you'll get a car, it's the coupler, the knuckle was a rough casting or it, it hangs up and it doesn't couple up easy. It'll couple up but it takes a little extra force behind it. Now, another thing I want to point out is this car has a lot of nicely done detail on the trucks themselves from the journal bearing lid covers to the uh, cast on uh, brake pads right there against the wheel very nicely done car the grab irons are all separately applied the paint and decals on the car are all nicely done very uh, clear and crisp uh, no bleed through that I have noticed the doors of course open You can see there, very small, barely noticeable, is the build date by Lionel. Now according to the lettering, this car was built back in 1924, the prototype. Again, you can see there the cast on or not cast on the separately applied detailing and uh, you know you can really tell there with that catwalk on top of the car and then we come back around to this side to the A end of the car very nice car uh, this came from Grabowski's trains in Pennsylvania uh, really awesome uh, model train store and uh, they have a super high level of uh, qual of a uh, customer service very happy with them I bought uh, 
a lot of things from them over the years. Uh, more, a lot more from them than Train World. Uh, don't get it twisted. Train World does offer uh, a good selection of products. They do have good customer service, but I mean, Grabowski's has a much better selection as far as like some of the older stuff. Uh, the the prices on Grabowski's are a little bit better, but then again. Um, a lot of the stuff that Grabowski, not all of it, but a lot of the stuff that Grabowski's has is not necessarily the current production run from Lionel. So pretty much if you buy something from Train World, you're getting something that's being offered in the current catalog or maybe a catalog or two uh, behind. Uh, Grabowski's does a lot of secondhand trains. Uh, I'm, this was not secondhand, this was new. It just sat on the shelf for, for a few years waiting to find a good loving home. We'll put this up and we'll move on to the next car. Alright, next car is, yes, it is yet another Lionel box car. This is a Rio Grande PS1 box car. This is a, another scale item. This will not operate on uh, 027 uh, Curves. It will operate on 027 tracks as long as the curvature of the track is greater than 027, 031, 042. It'll run on you know if it's if it's that curvature of 027 gauge track, it'll run on it. This is a scale item. We'll remove the cellophane wrapping. This was offered by Lionel in 2013. And the paint and lettering and decals and all that wonderful stuff are rather flawlessly uh, applied. Um, starting below the frame, this is a plastic frame. And uh, as you can see, there is loads of detailing on the cross beams of the frame and all the brake rigging and apparatus and all that good stuff lots of detail this is the stuff you don't see with a traditional toy train style uh, piece of rolling stock coming over here to the trucks both trucks are die cast metal they are sprung frictionless bearing type um, trucks and here we have the plate style uh, deal and as you can see it operating there the little uncoupling tab to manually uncouple the car coming up above the frame you can see loads of separately applied detailing see-through grill on the catwalk there all of the lettering and decals are very nicely done to include yes even the build date on the car when Lionel built it I'm not sure how well you can see it there but trust me it's there it says built by Lionel 2013 now of course as with all well most O gauge trains these days at, at least box cars and reefers the door does open and it kind of snaps back into place this is a prototypical paint scheme that uh, the Denver and Rio Grande Western used for uh, selected box cars that were for insulated uh, baked goods service um, car is free rolling and uh, again very smooth couplers, very nicely done couplers. Car should couple up rather easily, shouldn't take a whole lot of force behind it to get it to couple up. And it's got a little bit of heft to it, so it should uh, offer enough resistance on its own. All right, on to the next one. And last but definitely not least, this is from 2016. It is a Lionel Lion Scale modern BNSF boxcar 
these these cars they're all over the place not necessarily specifically BNSF but this style of box car the prototype is everywhere you, you can see it everywhere um, again this is a scale car uh, now the thing about lion scale is that it is I don't want to I want to try and stay away from lower end because it's not lower end uh, on the spectrum of scale cars it is kind of I guess lower end um, it's like the cheap little um, Merce uh, Mercedes Benz or BMW little hatchbacks it, they're meant for if you want scale but you don't want to pay the full price for the scale then you know there's your there's your out um, starting below the frame uh, we see rather spartan detailing for the for the air brake appliances you see the brakes uh, piston and cylinder there uh, you see the reservoir tank there uh, that's really it uh, it's got a plastic frame. Um, going back below, you see uh, the thumbtack style, not the plate. Uh, is magnetic coupler, and it can be uncoupled by means of the uncoupling tab. Again, a nice smooth coupler. It should couple up rather easily. Uh, I haven't had a chance to run these cars yet. Uh, I will say one thing about this particular car and these trucks the journal bearings rotate which I think is just cool as hell now um, these trucks are not sprung they are I'll say it again they are not sprung they are very Spartan type trucks and actually yeah they might be they're, nope not sprung at all so you can see the so you can see actual springs in there but there's no movement um, the stirrup step here on the end of the car is cast on. It's a little thick for scale standards, but I mean, you get what you paid for. I knew what I was getting, and I really wanted to get one of these Lion Scale cars to demonstrate that it is a uh, kind of a hybrid of a toy train style car with scale dimensions and some of the scale features. Um, all of the end ladders and hand railings are all cast in there is no separately applied details on this car other than the door and the handbrake wheel on the B end of the car which I'll show that to you there you go and even the chain as you can tell right there it's it's all cast in but again like I said, this is not a true 100% scale car for the scale hobnobs. It is a hybrid of a toy train box car with scale dimensions and some of this more scale feel. Given that this is a modern car, you can see there is no catwalk on the top of the roof. Um, you can see the reflective tape along the side sill of the car. Even though the detailing is all cast in, it's still very nicely done. All the lettering is crisp and clear, and of course, it opens, though the door is very stiff. I do have a couple of more of these Lion Scale cars coming. They're not box cars, but that's all I'm going to say. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Keep y'all guessing it on the edge of your, on the edge of your seats. Um, this was a very this is a very nice car this is actually uh, I know it sounds like I've talked negative about this car the entire review I do really like this car and it is honestly out of this crop of five cars that we have that I've reviewed today this is my favorite one out of the whole lot I, I love this car to death and I really want to get some more in uh, different road number or different car numbers and different uh, road names so I'm gonna be keeping my eye out for those in the subsequent months for uh, more opportunities to get some more cars like these because they are very reasonably priced they're a heck of a good deal if you want the look and feel of scale but you don't want to pay for scale so I have no problem paying for scale but you know 
life and budgetary restraints and having a family, they kind of get in the way of that sometimes. So, you know, you have to make your compromises where you can. And this is definitely a suitable compromise I can live with. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate the support from the channel. If you are a returning viewer, thank you very much. If you are a new viewer to the channel and this is your first time checking out one of my videos, please, by all means, feel free to subscribe and stay tuned for more. Happy Rail Fanning, y'all. Texas Special, out.